Illuminate. Deluminate. Illuminate. Deluminate. Welcome back to Peachy's place. My name is Peachy and this is my place. Right then, <clears throat> so I've been messing about with these indicators for a while um, because the bike wasn't originally fit with LED indicators. Right? Uh, it's taken me a few attempts. Come down here, I've been fiddling with wiring, messing about with wiring in the back there and all that, trying to fit resistors in. Um, I had two 25 watt resistors and I realised that 25 watts wasn't doing the job but, uh, when I put both resistors on one side that it was working but one on each side it wasn't and the way I noticed this was because when I put hazard lights on there was obviously more load going through um, or less load and basically the resistors were coping with that so having both sets of lights on at the same time that was working just fine right uh, lights in you know, the indicators it has the lights on so you get on four sides and the way it works with resistors is you put a resistor in one on one side for one set of indicators and one on the other side for the other set um, and the ones I had were just basically too cheap uh, too cheap bloody weren't cheap um, they were too small they were 25 watts and I needed 50 watts so what I've gone and done instead is I've bought one of these things it is a 12.8 volt electronic flasher for um, doesn't say it on the box don't say it on the box, but it says it on the actual unit though. That's the price there, 28 quid, which is actually cheaper than the resistors. The resistors, the resistors I think, were 25 quid each or something like that, and I would have had to buy another 50 watt one or two 50 watts if I wanted to do an eater job. So, nearly 30 quid that, that cost me, but it's a worthwhile investment because it makes life so much simpler and I'm going to show you what to do. This is probably going to be the quickest video ever on Peach's Place and successful as well. Okay, so on the Suzuki Bandits, this particular one's a 2005 model, um, but I believe the majority are the same right the way up to 2010. All right, you've got this side panel here, which comes undone with an allen bolt okay undo that allen bolt the plastic panel just pulls out be careful when you pull it out not to break the plastic lugs which seat into rubber bungs in the frame there and there Right, there's your lugs, be careful not to break them, because that's going to hurt you. And all you do is this thing here, that comes out, that's... What are you going to do then? Uh, okay, whatever. That's your relay. Fucking... That's your relay, and you've got these little clips there just sort of pull back all right there we go took two hands but that comes out now you can see on the unit there LED flasher 12 volt on the box it says 12.8 volt but hey um, I've plugged it in it works that's all I care about so that's that's the new one I've just pulled it out to show you how it goes in because obviously I tried it first so and that it, it's literally plug and play you got your pins there, okay, and the one that comes out should look exactly the same as that. In fact, I'll show you the old one. Just pop that back in and push it down so that 
it goes snugly in place. You'll know when it's in because the little clip will tell you. That's the old one there. Same size, same number of pins. It's just that the new one is designed. The new one is designed to accommodate LED lights. Push your panel back in place, the bolt goes back in. Put seat back on. I'm not using my Sanyo today, so. And that's it. Final result is left rear, left front, right front, where is it? There you are. Right front. Jobs again. So that really is the shortest and easiest video that Peter's Place has done. So there you go. Now you know how. Thanks very much for watching. Um, do it yourself. I'll see you next time.